Hey, Lon, do you remember the Pleiad? The Pleiad? What's a Pleiad? I'm still a little hazy on the details myself, but... Remember how it seemed like Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu seemed to recognize us? I remember them mentioning something like that. I think there were more mirages like that. Seven of them. Oh, I get it. Is that what Pleiad means then? Pleiad. But yes. So I think that might mean there are four other powerful mirages we knew besides Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. Huh, no kidding. Well, considering how tough that trio is, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get the rest of them on our side. Yep, my thoughts exactly. Yes, what? This might not end well for you. Let's make this quick. I've got this. Well, that ought to do it. Ready when you are. Well done. Well, 
That ought to do it. gloves for you. That was a good fight. was a good fight. doing here huh? oh, right back at you well it's like hmm oh I know didn't you used to call it a part-time job this is not the same as flipping burgers at some fast food joint hey it is what it is so I hope that you're ready to go through us <laughs> if you think you can Worst. I'm ready.
wasn't so bad. Trouble at all. Let's begin. Ready when you are. Oh, please, piece of cake. Good fight. already hey guys why isn't Ramu here with you whoa hey don't go saying Ramu's name out loud like that seriously the old man is all eyes and ears what kind of hot water are you twerps trying to get us in and you what were you thinking saying Ramu oops I heard that you two tell me why would you sneak away what possessed you oh uh, well, you know, we were, uh, sort of bored out of our wits. No, look! We were giving Lon and Rain some help with their training. Oh, nice. That is right. We're only thinking of them. You numbskulls. There's a reason we must stay in the nebula, and you know what it is. Uh, we're not dumb. The Tri-Elements Barrier, right? We have to maintain it. Come on, it's just one excursion. Dunderheads! Already your little excursion has led to two casualties. What? Don't tell me someone got out! Do you know who it is that escaped? An Ifrit and a Shiva. In both cases, you might say they were your unfairer sex. Ah. Right, it just had to be her. He's on the loose? Ugh. This is going to be such a pain in the duff. Hey, you said casualties. You don't mean people. Yeah, they'd have to be. When no one summons us, we have to enter this world the old-fashioned way. It's simple, really. In lieu of an elaborate summoning ritual, we can just use the magic in a human body as our gate. And as for the poor human, well, it's kind of messy. What? The Nether Nebula. Boundaries there are thin. Therefore, the old queen came to us and asked we place a barrier there along the world's fringe. And because these two decided to goof off... Now, people have been hurt. Yeah. Uh, look, we made a big mistake. A colossal mistake, you clods. <sighs> so to sum it up, Another Ifrit and Shiva are on the loose and wreaking havoc here in Grimoire, right? Hmm. They may have been waiting for just this chance. If they know our Ifrit and Shiva and how responsible they always are. Well, they're just two mirages. Me and Rain can handle them. We'll find them and teach them a good lesson. That's right. You three return to the nebula. Take care of that barrier. Very well. In that case, we will leave images of ourselves here in this place. So you may continue to train with us as before, unless you object. Uh, no! 
You took the words right out of my mouth. Okay. Lon, Rain, see you. Great goblins. They certainly are a handful. A female Ifrit and a male Shiva, right? And just when we thought we'd run out of mirages to collect. Let's begin. No trouble at all. Come back soon. Time I butt kicked the big jiggle again. Shiva! <sighs> What's up? Problem? Evil must perish. Huh? What do you mean, evil? Do I know you? You should. I am the cool face of justice. When the forces of evil appear, this Shiva strikes! Huh? What you talking about? Can you not see it? That mirage with you has been corrupted. They've tainted her. The Cogna have tainted her. I think you got the wrong idea there, pal. Alas, I am all too aware of the grief you feel. But I swear to you, her end will be quick and painless. <laughs> You're gonna have to go through me. <laughs> what? You must be the male Shiva who busted out of the Nether Nebula. Really? How can you talk about justice when the only way for you to come to this world is by being someone? There's only one villain here, and that... That was you. Sorry, but... We're the good guy. Poppycock. I cannot make an omelet. Do not break it. All right! All right! All right. Uh, how? The 
hero is supposed to prevail. I don't know what your deal is, bro, but don't worry about her. I have special Lissi powers, and they give her all the bells and whistles. Huh? Hmm. Perhaps I was wrong. She's not insidious enough to be conned. Hmm. Fine. I shall make it up to you. Name your foe, and I will assist you in a single battle. Earlier, you mentioned a butt to kick. Well, lead the way. Hang on a sec. Snow's been beating this thing up regularly, right? Because that would explain why it seems to be weaker than before. Good. Then today, we can finally settle the score. Right. Remember to exploit its weaknesses and be ready for a long time. Okay. okay? No trouble at all. Oh, yeah. Victory will be short-lived if it thaws. Oh, that's a good point. So what do we do? Just cross our fingers? You never did finish what you started. Zontetskin! You know, for my first crack at it, that was pretty good. Zoons! Now that's what I call just desserts! Hey, sis! I thought we'd been over this already. I am not your sister. Am I glad to see you, sis? What did I just finish saying? Oh, tell you what, sis. Why don't you stop by the village and see Sarah? It's been forever, right? Would you just... I seriously must be talking to a wall. something strange huh like what am I correct that you're in charge of controlling the gates and managing our prismariums now what do you mean now please you know full well that this pixie has always been in charge of both I can't carry the prison case everywhere we go but we can access it from safe locations and you're the one who returns us to Ninewood Hills when we fall in battle huh well, yeah, sort of. I have to use the return crystal Anna Crow gave me, which unfortunately means we have to come back to Nine Wood Hills every time. Hold on a second. This is strange. What's with the sudden barrage of questions? Oh, I guess I just like to go over things now and then. Huh? You serious? I guess that means most of what I know about Tama applies to Seraphi in this timeline. As long as I remember that, I should be able to play along. Hey, Seraphi. Sorry to bring it up again, but I was hoping we could discuss Tama. Huh? Tama? Oh, you're talking about Tama Mohime. Oh, long. Long time ago. So far back that I can't put a number on it. She and I went through some stuff. After we got mixed up with a really dangerous crowd. You mean the Order of the Circle? Tama told me about it. What? Well, well, if she dropped that name, then your Tama must be the same as the one I knew. What the shnoise is going on anyway? Well... Dude, really? I do not remember that. Tama did that? Hmm. I still don't fully buy it, but 
let's say she did sacrifice her lives. To what end? It almost sounds like the Guardians of Time. Guardians of Time? Beings from the realm of fantasy, who keep watch over this big clock, and use people's lives so as to alter the course of our history. Preposterous, right? As credible as tea-stealing fairies. A clock that intervenes in history? That sounds just like that girl's tea room. <laughs> You're right! Huh? So, does that make her a guardian of time? Like who? So this is what the inside of this place actually looks like. Wait, guardians are real? Does this mean that fairies who steal your teeth are too? Hmm? Are you here for tea? I don't think I was expecting guests. Oh yes, I may very well have collected her lives. But whatever's done is done. <gasps> I cannot return any lives that were spent to traverse time. Sorry, but, but there's gotta be... There must be some secret trick. A secret trick? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we track down a QB? Aren't they part of the same tribe of mirages that Tama is? Huh? To manipulate time, Tama used more than one of her lives, right? If I'm not mistaken, she had what? About nine lives in total? What if we swapped some of her lives out? Then we could go back before she made her sacrifice and replace some of her lives with the lives of a QB instead. She turned time back so far she needed to use nine lives? Hmm... But you may be onto something. A mirage from the same tribe with the same kind of soul could offer some souls in Thomas' place. You mean it? But, Seraphie, dude! Now that's a secret trick! Hmm? Oh! Oh! Why did you say again? <laughs> okay. If you can bring me a QB, I'll help you out. So, like, the QB is a mirage? Because I haven't seen one. Where do we find it? I'll try the rumor radar. I limit the search to Urugos and other fox like mirages like Tama. Kids, I think we have a winner. What do you mean, winner? It seems that some lady was killed in the Ceronian ice fields by a giant black fox. Or so I heard. In that case, Charlotta might know more about it. Let's go!